Things are taking place so fast. We live in a fast-paced society. We, 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 we as people of God, uh, we want gratification now. People come into the church. They, they, they want to change automatically. They, they don't want to hang around and, 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 and grow a little, learn a little, and let God use them and, 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 and try to wait on God. Because we have to wait on God. Yeah. Because God is in control. Yes, he, is. he knows everything that we need before we even ask. Yes, he does. So we, we live in an electronic world. Mm -hmm. Electronic age where so many electronic gadgets and things that, that not so many years ago I would never even imagine. Mm -hmm. When I was younger, I never imagined I could walk around with a cell phone in my pocket <laughs> and call anybody in the world and have some fun. Amen. See, back then, all we had when we left the house was a, a pay phone. And, and, and then we had, it was the dial-up phone. It wasn't the, the press phone. I'm going back a ways. Oh, yes. Yeah, some young kids now. They, what's a pay phone? <laughs> but, you know, it, the, the amazing thing about God is you can call on the Lord no matter where you are. Amen. No matter what time of day, no matter uh, what the circumstances, you can always call on God. Oh, yes. But see, with a cell phone, if I take it somewhere where there's not a tower or whatever, yeah. my call's not going to go through. No, it's not. No, it's not. Now, I never tried it here uh, in Electron, but I know Mason Town has bad cell phone yeah. signal. New Salem got a bad signal. Yeah. I, I can walk outside my house and I can't even use my phone. So. The, the, the thing about a cell phone is good when you're around a tower or something that you, you're able to use it. Mm. But I thank God that I don't need a tower. Amen. God Amen. is my high tower. Yeah. Come on, Amen. Come on. I can call on the Lord all night long. Amen. He'll be there to hear and answer my prayer. Thank Amen. God for that. Yes. Amen. Amen. I, you know, we, we also have a thing called Skype. <laughs> I don't know how to use it yet. <laughs> I, I tried to get on the internet the other day because my wife wanted to Skype with her sister. And man, it took me through all kinds of changes. <laughs> I don't know where I ended up at. But it wasn't Skype. <laughs> There's a lot of hype for <laughs> Skype. But, you know, it, it, it's just something where you can just look at a person face to face inside this little box. Yeah, man. Now, who would have imagined that years ago? That, you know, you can do the things that we're able to do right, uh, you know, right now. It, it, it's just amazing to me how, you know, we have things like car uh, remote starters where you can start your car from inside your house. You used to have to go outside, scrape my windows off, and, and go out in the cold. And we'd be out there, well, me anyway, I'd be out there shivering, trying to scrape the ice off, leave the car running, run back to the house. You know, I used to hate that. Thank God for a garage. Amen. I got a garage now. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Oh, man. I, I used to hate going out that cold. And, 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 but then I did get a remote starter. Then I, I'd go, you know, close close as I could inside the house and press the button. And do, 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 do. I said, thank you, God. And I go out to the car. The windows are defrosted. The car is warm. Oh, yes. It's just amazing the things that God has put into man's mind that we can do nowadays. Mm-hmm iPhones and iPads. We can we can scan uh, uh, from our even from our cell phone. You can look at if you have the um, uh, um, alarm system stuff. You can hook it up to your cell phone, and you can look at room to room in your house oh, yeah, yeah. and be in the other part of the country. You can even lock your doors from the the cell phone. I'm like man. This is something, you know, it's just, uh, you, you got email, you got fax machine, you can uh, send a document on the other part of the world uh, in minutes. Tell, you know, we're a long way from the Pony Express. <laughs> long way from Telegram. You know I mean? <laughs> Cell phone cameras and videos and uh, microwaves and medical breakthroughs. Yes, yes. And I can go on and on. The world is changing. Yes, sir. People are changing. Yes. The church yes. is changing. Yes. In the middle of it all, in the middle of it all, the good things that God has blessed man with, right in the middle of all of it, the devil is right there to steal, 
kill, and destroy. He's right in the middle of everything. That God is, that is good in, uh, in God's eyesight. The devil is right there trying to take it away from you. Yes, he is. And he will if you let him. Amen. If you let him. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Amen. First John 2.15, it tells us that not to love the world or the things of the world or that are in the world. And I emphasize love mm -hmm. because we should not love or put anything before God. Amen. Amen. For anything you put before God is your God. Amen. Be it money, be it people, be it your family, your husband, your wife, anything that you put before God Amen. is what you are worshiping. God wants us to worship Him in spirit and in truth. Yes. Yes. He does want what? He's a jealous God. He wants yes. no other, no one, no, another man before Him. Yes. Nobody else before God. And that even includes money. Amen. Lord knows how we love our money. Amen. But God should be first in everything Amen. that we do. Amen. Amen. He says that I am a jealous God. Mm -hmm. And anything you place before Him is sin. John, John goes on to say, if any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, the pride of life, mm -hmm. is not of the Father, but is of the world. This world is going to pass away, and everything in it. That's why we need to build our hopes on things eternal. Amen. In the midst of our trials, in the midst of our circumstances, in the midst of our tribulations, no matter what they are, don't think it to be strange because it's happening to you. Mm -hmm. Because you are not the only target. Amen. Sometimes we walk around and Lord, why are you doing this to me? Why not? <laughs> or the devil. Why are you doing this to me, devil? The devil don't care who you are. He don't care what part of life you come from, what your stature is, or, 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 or any of that. Man. He is just out to attack you. Yes, he is. And he's good at what he does. Yes. The enemy has waged war against God and his people. Yes. Jesus says, uh, let this world, let, let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus, is what Paul said. And, and, and our minds should be focused on the Lord and the things of the Lord. Yes. Jesus lets us know that in this world, you're going to have tribulations. Yes. Because your adversary, the devil, is busy. He is going to and fro seeking whom he may desire. But Christ said, be of good cheer because he has overcome the world. And we too can overcome the world. For as we trust in him, we will give him our will. And not my will, but thy will be done. As we trust in the Lord, he will give us the peace that we need to make it through. All right. So Amen. continue to hold on because help is on the way. Amen. Help is on the way. And in keeping with your theme, it, it says in changing times, God is enough. I would like to add to that and say, in changing times, God is more than enough. Amen. Right. Amen. He is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He never sleeps nor slumbers. He has all power in his hands. And he has this, and the same power that, that rose Jesus from the dead is the same power that we can have today, right. where in this very minute, yes. we can lay hands on the sick that they recover. Yes. We, we can raise somebody up from the, uh, uh, a deathbed. Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now, don't think that we don't have the same power that Jesus had when we, he walked this earth. Amen. 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 The same power that he had, we can possess. For he has done great and marvelous things. And, and I'm a witness to that. I know what God has done for me. I know what God has done for my family and, 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 and for people who are close to me. I know where God has bought us all from. I, I was speaking with Pastor earlier about where we could have been at. The, the things that we did in our earlier days. And, and I, I, I should have been dead. I should have been in jail. But thank God for his grace and his mercy. Because he knew. He knew that he had a lot for me to do, yes. but he kept that hedge of protection yes. around me yes. while 